has done amazing things in my life and I want to share that with you and how you can be motivated to make the decisions to follow Christ today. I was told that I was anointed to speak on a level the world is not familiar with all for the glory of God, Father, but that's if you're involved and if you're not, I don't want it. So we just lifted up to you. We ask that you bring the right people, that we touch the right hearts tonight, Father, that that this community is touched in a certain way that they didn't know they were going to be touched, Father. We know that the youth are hurting right now. And Father, you've given me a heart for them. You've given me a heart to reach them with my story, Father. And so far it has, and I just thank you so much, Lord God. realize is the fact that like there's so many youth hurting today like there's so many youth that are hurting they're struggling with so many different things and they really just want someone to talk to I mean that's what it really does come down to they want someone to talk to it's an amazing feeling when they come up to me afterwards and they open up to me about what they're going through when I was around that age is kind of when I started down that that spiral path of this destruction it was about 19 when all that really started, when I saw my letter from Santa Michigan State, and, and I just thought that I had the world in the palm of my hands, but I really didn't know that the world had me. I drank a little bit in high school, but I was never influenced. Like, I I, I went and found it. Like, I, I kept hearing about these parties, and I wanted to go do that because I I wanted to be accepted. And not knowing that acceptance only comes from, from really Christ and Christ alone, because that's the only one that we need to be accepted by, you know, I started creating habits for myself. And it first started in the classroom, and then it kind of spiraled off in other things. And, it, and then it went higher. And before you know it, I go to college, and I'm drinking, and I'm getting a DUI, and, you know, I'm getting, and, and other things are happening. It just slowly just snowballed and domino affected to a situation where alcohol took over my life. And finally, I was able to realize that hey wow like this started back then and, and now I've created some some things for myself some some destructive habits that I need to get out of and I didn't know how to do that until Jesus Christ came and it's just been a crazy road but all those things that God allowed to happen really made me into who I am today and, and, and being able to go around and share my story and, and connect with so many different people on a different level it's just been amazing how he can take someone who really at one point in time couldn't say anything positive about themselves to now going and ministering to kids and really sharing hey you know it's all right you got this and we can do this i'll do this together i'll walk with you do this i bring an experience that I walk you through with me. You go, you you feel the pain in my voice. I can really have people feel it. I'm engaging and, and I believe that the only reason why is because God has graced me to do so. People don't understand. They don't realize how we have to invest in our youth. And so they'd rather not do it. And, and so I tell everyone this, that I, like you are so awesome for stepping out and doing something like this because our youth are, are our future. And we can lose Christ in this young generation. We don't realize that. People don't realize that. We can lose them. Robert Jones. He can rap, man. And he got, he got talent. <laughs> Oh, it was so inspiring. I had tears rushing down my face. Oh. It's emotional. He's a great speaker and he should keep doing what he's doing.